Hi, everyone. Hola a todos. It wasn't going live. I don't know what happened. It was spinning and spinning. Hi, is there, how is everyone doing? Um, okay, it's all good now. Miguel is here instead of Nick, I think. Um, so hi, everyone. Um, I wanted to make an announcement. Today is going to be a little bit of a different type of live stream video for myself. I am not going to be saying hi to every single person personally. There's a lot of you here, and I don't want to spend the time doing that because I really want to focus on what I want to do. It's something new that I want to try on my channel, and I'm going to try it first live. Um, and I'm going to be translated to it in Spanish as well. I also want to say that um, um, please... Uh, uh, yeah, just kind of listen and just tell me what you think. I would love to you know what your opinions and your comments are. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be translating, as I said. Lo voy a traducir todo en español. Hoy no quiero. Um, do you guys see me? That's a good point. Okay, I just want to make sure that you guys are seeing me first. I, I should have said that first and you can hear me. Um, hoy quiero hacer todo. Eh, Estar diciéndole hola a cada persona. Pero eh, quiero hacer una cosa diferente que quiero tratar en mi canal solo para ver cómo a ustedes les gustan. So, today I'm going to be creating an art journal, okay? But this journal, I am trying to do it a little bit differently because I really want to tap in into our emotional part of creating. And that's something that I feel a lot of us don't do too much. I've talked a lot about intuitive art and how to kind of get your emotions into it, but I really want to talk about that as well. Hoy quiero hablar un poco sobre cómo se puede, eh, en vez de solo crear un art journal, que es lo que voy a crear hoy, quiero de verdad eh, meterme en las emociones de cómo se siente uno cuando, se, cuando está trabajando. Everything is going to be listed below. Please don't post any links. I want everybody to just... Um, to just kind of relax and just listen to my words and listen to what I'm going to say and just, you know, don't think too much. Just let it all happen and let it flow. It's really, really important. And that's part of my process that I want to do today. And I really hope that this helps you and to just kind of tap into those and connect to those emotions. Quiero que, por favor, no, escri no escriban mucho. O sea, pueden escribir en el chat, pero lo que refiero, no voy a poner ningunos links para ninguna cosas. Y simplemente quiero que se escuchen y que solo escuchen mi voz y que se conecten con las emociones. Uh, yeah, channeling your inner emotions. I would love to know your opinions and what you're feeling. I would like you to share if you want to share. If it's too personal to share, then don't share it. That's okay. Eh, quiero que por favor si pueden compartir lo que están sintiendo de cualquier manera y vamos a hablar sobre eso. So I really want to, to kind of tap into every single step and every single thing that we're going to do, starting with like even a simple thing of putting a piece of tape in the middle of our book to bind it. This is a Dilutions journal. Este es un journal de Dilutions de Diane Rivley. Y quiero que hasta estemos escuchando cada vez, cada cosa que escuchemos y que veamos hasta las cosas que no nos gustan hacer. This is, I want you to listen to the sound, like really tap into the sound of even the tape. And why are we using the tape? Why are we tapping into those things? What are we doing with this tape? Yes, it is binding it. ¿Qué es lo que estamos haciendo con este tape? Si estamos cerrando y, uh, y que la, el agua no pase por el centro, pero en realidad, ¿qué es lo que de verdad estamos haciendo? Estamos conectando una página con la otra. We are connecting one page with another, to connect one side with another, to prevent it from leaking, yes, but it's also to prevent it from almost like keeping things together so things don't seep, almost like a, a seam, a binding, right? So um, so it's just something that I want you guys to kind of listen, tap into. Quiero que escuchen la, la, los, los, quiero que escuchen Cada sonido, cada cosa que estoy haciendo. Y por favor, eh, agrígame cómo se sientan. I want, you, I want to know how you feel every time you hear a sound, even like the touch of something. I want to see how you feel. How do you feel sensory in your body? How you feel emotionally in your body? That is, um, I just want you to just relax and listen to the sounds. 
quiero que escuchen los sonidos, escuchen mi voz y simplemente me digan qué están sintiendo, si tienen, sentido, si tienen sentimientos emocionales o tienen sentimientos eh, físicos. Um, so, as we're creating, we don't realize that we're doing all these steps. We don't actually always know why we're doing these steps. For this journal today, we're going to need uh, stencil. We're going to need some watercolors. We're going to need some paint brushes. Vamos a tener que tener un stencil, unas acuarelas, algunos pinceles, a heavy gesso, white gesso, gesso blanco, some kind of texture paste, un poquito de textura, y un poco de agua, a little bit of water, to wash our paint brushes. I'm also going to maybe incorporate some magicals, but I'm not sure yet. Tal vez voy a incorporar un poquito de los magicals. But we really need to tap into why do we do this? Really, really think and feel why are we doing every single step? Why are we working in layers? What does it make us feel? And that's something that I really want to kind of tap into. And it's really, really important. Starting with gesso. Do you hear that sound? Escuchan ese sonido. ¿Cómo les hace sentir? How does it make you feel? How do the strokes make you feel? Why are we doing these strokes in this direction? ¿Por qué lo estamos haciendo desde, en este sentido? Why am I not doing strokes in this direction? Why is it that my body is, or my hand is choosing that? I feel like it's choosing to kind of stroke everything towards me, to connect it to myself. Estoy pintando hacia mí, conectando todo lo que es la pintura hacia mí, conectándolo a mi cuerpo. Yes, leaving everything on the stroke. Can we leave all our emotions on the stroke to just let us go, let it go? Can we just let go of all our insecurities, all our feelings, our sad feelings, our happy feelings, our anxious feelings? What are you letting go of? Even the sound of the water. Even cleaning your paintbrush and just taking the time to swirl it. Why are we swirling it to the right? You know that that has something to do with energy. That positive energy spins right and negative energy spins left. Do you know that? It is something that we're not even always aware of. And it's something that we should really tap into. Not because we need to tap into that part of understanding, but to make us kind of connect to everything. Cuando el agua gira a la derecha, es positiva, pero cuando gira a la izquierda, son los sentimientos negativos. No sé si ustedes sabían eso. Even drawing the page. Even drawing the page. Left-handed people can still spin to the right. We spin to the left. It's not the negative emotions, but it's basically our bodies are not in sync and balance when we're spinning to the left. Spinning to the right, usually our bodies are in sync. But even just that tedious thing of heating this up, hasta poniendo el calor al papel, even if we're putting that heat on the paper, why are we putting that heat? What does heat represent warming up this paper? Have you ever thought of that? 
warming up everything, meeting this paper, yes, it's drying it, lo está secando todo, pero entienden por qué, poniéndole calor, darle calor a alguien en vez de algo frío, giving warmth to your page, giving warmth to something better than you are. The warmth is something that we don't feel. We need to feel it from the sun. We need to feel it from a hug. We feel it from someone else. But do you realize that our art almost needs that warmth as well? Our art needs warmth to dry. Our art we needs warmth to kind of set. And we need warmth to set as well. In some ways, we need warmth to many to do many different things. So that's something that is like part of us. And I do, like, Nuneka, you're saying you're shaking the brush into the water. You're right. I do that as well. And I am impatient. But what I want to teach us now is to actually put in that patience and say, well, okay, what if we spun it to the right? What if instead of going madly like this quickly because we're trying to get it done, what if we spun it around and just take pleasure in that? Take pleasure in spinning. It's just something that I feel something that is innately in us that we don't even realize we're doing. Why are we adding texture? Why do we add texture into our projects? Stencils, one of the things I love using the most, but why do I add that texture? What does it make me feel? Because truly texture is one of the things that makes me feel the most satisfied. And yes, we are cold, so we heat ourselves. Textura es una de las cosas que me gusta más agregar porque me hace sentir muy bien. So let's see, look at the texture. Look how texturized it is. And just adding that. Just taking the time to enjoy every single step. Tomanos el tiempo de de cada capa. Tomarnos el tiempo de realizar y de entender cada capa y por qué la estamos poniendo. Conectarnos con el papel, conectarnos con los productos. Connect yourself to the background, to the paper, to the paste. It's something that we don't do often. And I'm not saying do this every single time. No estoy diciendo que se hace cada vez, pero ¿por qué no entender y conectarnos con ello? And lifting up and, dis and discovering what is there. Y subiendo esto en la, y lo que encontramos cuando ya lo pusimos. This discovery sometimes, even that, the beauty of it. We don't even realize what we're doing, and I really want to do this more often, videos like this. What do you guys think? Tell me tell me if you would watch videos like this. I want people to watch. I feel like our videos on YouTube are being watched less and less because there's so many of them. And I want to tap into this. Would this be something that interests you? Would this be something that you would sit and just meditate about and watch? Yes, that's exactly what it is. I am not a trained professional in mindfulness, but I've done it enough. I've done meditation enough. I've done all these things enough to know what you're supposed to do. It's almost like guided meditation through art. Something that many of us just kind of want to get it done and don't want to think about. We know it's like almost shut your mind. Meditación con el arte. Para poder cerrar la mente y no pensar, solo sentir. No hay que pensar. You shouldn't be thinking, you should be feeling. 
feeling. Feeling is the most important thing. How do you feel? Do you forget to feel sometimes? You forget to feel because all you want to do is just get something done to get something out, whether it is you're making it on your channel or you want to create something so you can post it. But is that really the goal? Shouldn't we be creating for ourselves? Shouldn't we be creating to just feel good? And just thinking about everything that we do is just limits us. Cuando estamos pensando, nos estamos limitando. Lo más importante es crear para nosotros y no para otras personas, sino para ponerlo en YouTube y no para ponerlo en todos los lugares, sino para crear para nosotros. Y cuántas veces lo estamos haciendo rápido solo para que te, para que crear. How many times you feel bad about what you're creating because you're it's not coming out the way somebody else did it. But what if? What if you actually instead of thinking about how you uh, instead of thinking about how you're putting it, what if you felt and not let your brain take over? ¿Qué pasaría si en vez de estar pensando en cómo lo estamos poniendo, por qué no lo sentimos de otra manera? Feel. Feel instead of think. Let your heart guide your hands. Dale al corazón que te guíe la mano. What I need is like what what I feel is that I felt like for the longest time I was doing everything the same as everyone else. Por, por mucho tiempo siempre he hecho lo mismo que las otras personas. Video detrás de video, more videos and more videos. But I really feel like I want to do something different. I want people to watch. I feel like my videos are not getting watched and. Then I thought everybody has been commenting about how what I've been doing helps them emotionally. And I've talked to a lot of you, as you may know, and how much it has helped you emotionally. So maybe that's something I want to tap into. Muchos de ustedes me han hablado cuánto mi arte les ha ayudado emocionalmente. Y quiero, quería de verdad utilizar eso. Utilizar eso para ayudar a toda la gente. I really thank you, Tanya. It makes me emotional, and I, and I know some of it. It's not for everybody. I know these feelings are not for everyone, but many of you, and you've shared with me your stories. That I know that this is for you. Yo sé que esto no es para todos, pero sé que hay muchas personas que lo necesitan. And that's something really, really important. So many people need that. Let's add some color. And I want to show you how the difference of adding color makes it, makes the whole difference. Como agregar color hace mucha diferencia. Even the sound of the spray, el sonido del spray. How does it make you feel? What sensations do you get in your body? ¿Qué tipo de sensación se puedes escuchar en tu, puedes sentir en tu cuerpo? What type of physical sensation? What type of, what type of um, emotional sensation? Or something simple like this. Algo así. ¿Cómo te hace sentir? How does it make you feel just looking at this? Why do we choose a certain color? Porque estamos escogiendo un color específico. Why am I choosing red today? Porque estoy utilizando rojo hoy. Every time we choose a color, we're choosing it because our bodies need that. Cada vez que cogemos un color, es porque nuestro cuerpo lo necesita. Whether it is physically or emotionally. How 
How do you feel right now? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo se sienten? Disconnect yourself from everything and just enjoy the process. Why do we have this binding here, right? So we don't want the color to seep in. What colors do you gravitate towards? ¿Qué tipo de colores siempre utilizas? Si siempre utilizas unos colores específicos, es porque tu cuerpo lo necesita. Your body needs that. How does it make you feel? When these run down the page, when the water and the color runs down the page, does it give you shivers? ¿Cómo te sientes cuando ves el agua chorreando? ¿Te da escalofrío? What if you usually use blues and greens like I do, but then you want reds? Que I see, siempre utilizas azules y verdes y morados, pero hoy quiere rojo, ¿por qué será? Why do you think you want a certain color over another? ¿Por qué crees que un color es uno sobre otro? Why do you think that? Why do you think certain colors make you feel a certain way? ¿Por qué crees que hay colores que te hacen sentir diferentemente? There's a science behind it. There truly is a science behind it. It's not just color therapy. Cool colors tend to calm you down, right? But what if warm colors tend to help you relax, make you feel like you're warm, hugged? It is something we just don't tap into. Los colores fríos tal vez nos hacen sentir calmados, pero los colores cálidos nos hace sentir que un calor, que necesitamos como un abrazo. Yes, it's very mesmerizing to watch mediums flow down. That's exactly what it feels to me. Why do we put a seam binding, I ask again. What is your seam binding that protects you from everything that's coming at you? Do you ever think about that? We put the seam in the middle. Ponemos esto aquí en el medio para que, como, como si fuera algo en el cuerpo, para que no 
penetre nada por, desde afuera, con todas las cosas que están viniendo. Imagine the, all the colors being those that are, all those problems that are kind of pouring at you. And you're able to take a wipe and just take them away. Remove them from yourself. Imagínate todos los, todo lo que se está chorreando. Son todos los problemas que tienes. Y lo único que tienen que hacer, que se están derramando, es agarrar una servilletita, una toallita húmeda y sacarla. Imagine that. Imagine all your problems going away. Imagine that. Imagine your pain just releasing. Imagine the flow of the water just releasing your pain. All that pain that you've been holding for so many years. All the pain that you've been Blaming yourself for feeling failure, feeling pain, physical or emotional pain. Can you let it all go? Can you actually let go of one of them and not blame yourself for it? I think we can all do that. Just letting go of those emotions. Just letting go, because what else can you do? Why hold them for so long when they are just no purposeful to us? There is no purpose for holding on to those emotions. Just let them flow down the page and wipe them off with a wipe with a Kleenex, with a tear, all those tears that are flowing down, todos los, todo lo que sienten, todas esas emociones, todo lo que están, todo lo que están, se han quedado con eso por tantos años, déjenlo pasar, no vale la pena quedarse en el cuerpo con eso. Agarren una servilleta y todo lo que se derramó, limpienlo. Crying, yes. Crying is very cleansing. What if crying solved our problems? What if we let go of everything and just let ourselves feel while we're creating? Hay que dejarse... Hay que dejarse sentir hay que dejarse sentir you have to let yourself feel I want you to tap into your soul How do you tap into your soul? ¿Cómo puedes conectarte a tu alma? I'm going to add blue. Voy a agregar azul. Pero el azul no es cálido, es frío. It's not a cool, a, it's not a warm color, it's a cool. How can I be adding cool color? Kind of cooling that fire. I truly wanted to use some of the magicals because I want some glimmer. Let's see. Let's add a few magicals here and mix it with the watercolors. Okay. If you don't have magicals, you can use... Oh, this is more green. This is not the one I want. Making mistakes and wondering why you made them. Let's change it because I don't want green. I want blue thought it was blue. Making mistakes is okay. Making mistakes makes us humans. I have arthritis. I've had it since I've been 18 years old. 
and many of my joints are fused bad it hasn't stopped me from wanting to live quiero vivir he tenido artritis desde los 19 a 18 años pero quiero vivir quiero sentir i want to feel Mistakes are just opportunities to learn, to explore. Mistakes are just opportunities to join two colors together and see how they look on your page. Why do I want blue here? What made me want to add blue? ¿Qué fue lo por qué me quiero agregar azul? Aunque me equivoqué de color, siempre es bueno tener y hacer errores. Los errores te enseñan. Physical, emotional, spiritual pain. We all feel it in different ways. We all tap into it in different ways. How does the water make you feel? How does water make you feel? The wonderful thing that runs through our veins, which is blood, is full of water, 70% of it. So why does water make us feel this way? Porque agua nos hace sentir así. Tenemos 70% de agua en nuestras venas. Flowing through our arteries. Splatters. Salpica. ¿Por qué nos hacen sentir así? Why do they make us feel so good? Why do splatters make us feel so good? They're connectors. They connect us to something else. Cleansing, moving forward. Most people only talk about their physical pain. La generalmente las personas solo hablan, solo hablan de su del de lo que es, se me olvidó la palabra, del dolor físico, pero hay que hablar del dolor hay que hablar del de dolor emocional. You must speak about your emotional pain. You must reach out to somebody. It is easier to talk about the physical. Es más fácil hablar sobre el dolor físico. Pero el dolor, el, el dolor mental, emocional es muy importante de hablar con él de él. You must reach out to somebody if you do feel this way. Or if you know somebody that is feeling that way. And you need to reach out to them to help them. How does it make you feel? How do these colors make you feel? Again, the twirling. The sound of the brush. Even the sound of the heat tool. Familiar sounds. Tap into familiar sounds. Hay que escuchar sonidos familiares. Sonidos que todo el tiempo nos gustan escuchar. What are your familiar sounds?
adding shadows. Connecting to that, drawing the sound of the pencil, el sonido del lápiz. Como no te hace sentir? How does it make you feel? Oh. Mistakes. How do we fix mistakes? Como ¿Qué hacemos cuando hacemos errores? ¿Cómo arreglarlos? Es muy importante. Should I feel anxiety right now that I ruined that? Or should I just go with the flow and let it fix? Not having this dry. It's okay. Swirls of emotions. I love that. Getting burnt by the heater for being too hot and putting my hand where I'm not supposed to. Poniéndolo, poniendo mi mano debajo del calentador y casi quemándome. <coughs> Fixing our mistakes with some paint. What are your swirls of emotions? Do you always feel like you're in a state of emotional turmoil? Or do you feel calm? Just tapping into that sometimes. Using your art. Utilizar el arte para escuchar las emociones del cuerpo. Use your art to tap into your emotions. Use your art to tap into your emotions. Use your art to tap into your emotions. Utiliza el arte para entender tus emociones, para sacarlas al aire. Okay, you see, not being patient. How many of you are not patient, like me, always trying to get ahead? ¿Cuántos de ustedes no tienen paciencia? Y siempre quieren que todo salga rápido. They want everything to be fast. Not realizing that some things cannot go fast, that you need to feel them. Hay que sentirlos. Especially when we feel, especially when we're sick, when we're ill and we want things to heal quickly. Cuando nos sentimos mal, cuando estamos enfermos y queremos que las cosas pasen rápido. What about... What about deep breathing? Breathing. Respirando profundo. What about breathing deeply? Letting in all, all that is positive in. Todo lo que es positivo. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Letting it all out. Breathing in the good, letting out the bad. Breathing in the good, letting out the bad. Respira hondo lo bueno y respira fuera lo malo. Respira hondo lo bueno y respira fuera lo malo. Todo lo que te has 
se ha grabado en tu corazón. Everything that has been holding you back, everything that you've held in your heart, let it out. Completely let it go. Forgive. Forget. Surround yourself by people that are, are willing to be like you. Surround yourself by people that are like you. That it's okay to ruin a page. Look. Learn to love yourself. Learn to love yourself first before loving others. Give yourself a chance to love yourself. Love yourself quietly. Love yourself completely. Let yourself be fixed. Let yourself fix yourself. When part of us gets taken apart, let yourself be fixed. Like I'm fixing this part of your art, my art. Let art, let art fix you. Take art as an extension of you and let art fix you. Let art fix those things that you cannot fix because you don't have the tools. Let art fix those things that you cannot fix because you don't have the tools. Can, can you let do, art do that? We are all here trying to navigate this world, not only during these difficult times, but throughout life. So let art fix you. Let art do that for you. Thank you, Martina. Let art do the thing that you haven't been able to do for so long, which is tap into something deeper than yourself. Let art be your meditation because art is a meditation. When I'm creating art, it's a type of hypnosis. It's almost that I don't know what's surrounding me. I don't know what's around me. I just let art guide me. I let my intuition guide me. I've spoken a lot about that. And those videos that I've spoken about intuition, you guys always love them. And I thought that this would be a good idea to actually connect to that. Connect to your intuition and let the healing come from within. I know this might be difficult for some of you. I can see that some of you have left, that this is maybe too difficult to watch. And that's okay. I know that those that need it can hear my voice and will know that this is for them. I don't want to be a robot anymore. I don't want to be creating videos for you guys just because 
is just a thing to do because I'm teaching you more techniques. We can teach techniques and more techniques and more techniques, but I don't want to be that robot anymore. I want to create from the heart. I want to tap into those emotions. And I can't do that. I can't do that by myself. I need you all to, to tap in them with me. We are together. Together we're stronger. We've said it before. But what does that mean? Just saying those words mean nothing if we don't actually act on them. What do they mean? Why do I feel like I need orange on this side a little bit more? Together we are stronger, right? But to but alone we're strong as well. We are strong because we have those tools within us to do this. And for those of you who have supported me throughout this journey for so many years or even just recently, I am so appreciative of everything that you've done. And it's not the monetary support. Truly, that's not what it is. For me, I want to create type of videos that you'll want to watch, that you'll want to watch from beginning to end, because truthfully, that's not happening anymore. I felt like I lost the connection with people. Some of you are watching, but most of you are not watching. You guys are just looking to just go from one video to the next. And I know hops are done for that reason, but I really, really want to connect with you guys in a different level. And I think that these type of videos, even if I do them once a month, or every once in a while, I really want to connect with you. I want to connect with you on a different level. I want you to be able to watch my video from beginning to end and actually get something out of it, that you feel that you've connected to something higher than yourself. And we can't do that if we are constantly running from one video to the other because there's so many videos out there. I want you to stay on my channel and watch because truly, that is something that I haven't been able to do this year. I feel like all I'm doing is creating content and more content and my videos get, barely get any watch. So why not make something for something for myself because I'm healing myself at the same time, but healing everyone else with in the process as well or help or giving people the tool to do that. And then journaling, right? We can journal around this, around different places, but truthfully, I don't even know if it needs journaling because I've spoken too much. So maybe just a title. Oh, and I made a mistake. You see, I meant to say, no, that's not what I wanted to say. Let's erase. Ah, oh, my daughter is running there. Listening to the voices of your kids. My daughter running around when I know there's a live. <laughs> I let my hand... Follow. My heart. Sorry, I write in an angle. I have to write in an angle. I can't write straight because as you can see, I cannot bend my wrists because of the 
arthritis that I had. Um, I want to I want to just kind of tap into more of this and just let yourself fly. If you think about it, it almost looks like a butterfly flying away. I let my heart it let my heart follow my hand. I think it's I let my hand follow my heart because I want my hand to follow my heart, my soul. And it's as if you're flying, as if everything just flies away. And you just have to enjoy the moment, the now. Enjoy the moment. Enjoy what you're feeling right now. When you're creating, enjoy what you're feeling at that moment. Don't worry about anything else. The rest will come with it. Enjoy what you're feeling at that moment. Thank you for joining me today, everyone. Tomorrow, uh, tomorrow. The next place is to go to Tiffany's channel. My friend Tiffany has been a great support with my friend Nuneka. We've been there for each other for the past few weeks behind the scenes, trying to bring not only beautiful artwork, but also just talking to one another, bringing each other up. And being able to help others, because I know many of you have emailed me, messaged me, trying to help me and help you. Because when you guys message me and talk about your pains and your love for everything, it heals me as well. It makes me feel that I'm not alone. It makes everybody feel that I'm not alone. Because we're not alone in the suffering. Every single person in this world is suffering, whether you want to know it or not, whether you believe that or not. Every person is suffering differently. And it's so important to tap and to know that, to know that you're never alone. And that you can just, even if you are alone at home, that you have a community that supports you, people that feel your pain and that are there for you when, they need, when you need that. Que siempre sepan que siempre hay personas que te pueden apoyar. Estamos en una comunidad que nos puede apoyar, que apoya a la gente. Y todos los que me hacen mensajes y me cuentan de sus vidas, por favor, y me encantan escuchar de sus vidas, por favor. Ándeme mensajes, cuénteme de sus vidas. Message me about your lives. I would love to hear about your beautiful lives. I want to get to know you. La quiero conocer a ustedes. Thank you so much, everyone. Can you guys tell me how you feel? Please leave me a comment in the description area. Let me, I mean, not the description area. Please leave me a comment below. Déjeme un mensaje para saber cómo se sienten. ¿Qué les hizo sentir físicamente, emocionalmente? I would like to know what it made you feel physically, emotionally. Do you want to see more of this? ¿Quieres ver más de estos tipos de videos? ¿Qué tipo de, qué tipo de, de emoción quieren que se re, re, relajar, sal, sacar? What type, of, what type of emotions you guys want to release? Tell me. No, Cindy, you never bother anybody. Nobody bothers anyone. Those who get bothered by messages are not true empaths. Please believe me. I don't need monetary value in order to be able to grow and to, and to feel like I've done something. 
What I want is to you guys to feel that I am making a change, that I'm making a positive change in the world and in your lives. Quiero hacer algo positivo en sus vidas y en el mundo. Eso es lo más importante para mí. Lo demás tiene que venir después. And if you want to watch these videos just as a meditation, then go ahead and do that. You don't even need to watch me create. You can just listen to my voice. Si quieren ver este tipo de, de videos sin, 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 sin ver lo que estoy creando, pueden escuchar solamente la voz. Pero lo visual, the, the connection of the visual component with the sound and with my words is where the meditation, the mindfulness happens. I truly believe that there is something with ASMR, right? That's something that I think people should tap into this. But I really believe that the only difference the ASMR doesn't do is that it doesn't encourage people. It doesn't make them, um, it doesn't make them feel whole again. It just gives them that physical sensation. I want to give you both. I want to give you to connect that physical sensation that visual sensory sensation with your feelings. Quiero conectar lo que es visual y emocional y lo que se puede escuchar con todo lo que es las emociones del cuerpo. Eso es lo más importante para mí. Y que todo, es que no necesito que, lo que quiero es que vean mis videos y que pueda yo cambiar la manera que ustedes sienten. Thank you so much, everyone, again. If you want to see some of my thoughts, I do share them on Instagram. A lot of my thoughts about my projects. Siempre en Instagram pongo cosas y explico cosas sobre mis proyectos. Please read below in my, in my comments. In the description of Instagram, I always write something insightful. Siempre escribo algo importante y del corazón. Please go to, go to Tiffany's channel now. And always let your hand follow your heart. Let your hand follow your heart. Because two hands together make a heart. Bye, everyone. Love you guys. Bye.